All right, guys. So I thought I was recording before, and apparently I wasn't. So let me just go ahead and sh uh, start by letting you know that on the pistol, the unarmed, and the rifle, linked in them layers, I've temporarily disconnected this logic where we were blending in from the last linked in them layer, suppose. It seemed to cause more problems than it helped. So, um, also, I, I've i resolved those problems uh, anyway, so whatever I, I must have thought that I was fixing whenever I was doing that, apparently I wasn't fixing. So, I'm not going to get into uh, the actual, uh, what the actual problem was, but as far as the rifle one, I redid the rifle one because it didn't actually have a skeleton assigned to it that may have been part of the problem whenever we were switching to the uh, rifle. So now we can select our blend profiles, whereas before we weren't able to. So yeah, I rebuilt that. But yeah, let me just go ahead and uh, get into this. So you'll see that the UEFN, which runs the animation system natively, he's not runtime retargeting. He works flawlessly. It looks it looks fine on him. Everything's really fluid. Uh, it's not going to be so fluid on the runtime retargeted characters. I've smoothed things out about as good as I can. Uh, there is a hitch that you you won't actually see unless I slow it down. It's there, and it would be a lot more fluid if I were able to fix it, but as far as I can tell, this is related to the way things are retargeting from them to the UEFN and then back to them. So it's like a ping pong effect, and things are getting distorted along the way. Uh, but that's the hack I had to use in order to prevent you guys from having to retarget it. Uh, in, a, in, a, in an update coming soon, I plan on actually making the metahumans run this natively rather than, rather than having them live retargeted. I don't want them to uh, be live retargeted. Let me just go ahead and uh, undo that slow motion. And I'll go ahead and show you. Also, some of them you'll see uh, some odd hip movements. I think that was uh, because I had tried to fix fix it using another method and I forgot to undo that. So I, I may have to go back and re-retarget some of these uh, animations. Uh, oops, let me go ahead and start that over. Yeah, like that one, for example. I think the tall ones were mostly the ones that were affected by it. Uh, but part of that problem was also because I had never re-retargeted the unarmed poses. Now you'll see that for this one, he doesn't have any weird, uh, like pelvis movements during the blend in, blend out. Uh, I fixed that on him. I may not have fixed it on the other ones. So that might be why they're still dipping during the blend in and out. I'll go back and look over those uh, later, but the main thing, uh, I changed uh, the uh, layering settings for these uh, pistol poses. Uh, because it was causing elbow issues. And I don't know if that was there before, but it's fixed now. Uh, it looks a little stiffer now. It doesn't look quite as dynamic, but it did fix those issues we were having. So uh, that's the reason why I changed it, uh, to just use overlay layering rather than the local uh, space for the secondary, which is what I was using before because it was more dynamic but it was also causing the uh it was also causing the hand to be right up against the shoulder and then the elbow was popping up above his shoulder and it was just looking really bad 
So I may go back and try to fix that. And that was mostly because on, let me go back and go ahead and go over this part. Because on these characters right here, I for the uh, IK rig, I had to resort to the no offset one, which does not use full body because it was causing weird issues with the neck and the head movement during runtime retargeting, which is why I had to get away from the full body IK for them. I'm not really entirely sure why. So if I do uh, manage to go back and resolve that, because I thought I had already resolved that, but apparently not. So if I do go back and figure out what it was that I missed or whatever on these, then I may uh, revert back to using the full body IK. But as of right now, this fixes the neck and head issues. So that's why I'm using that for them for their runtime retargeting. So the last thing is I am aware now of this problem right here where we are in forward facing mode, not strafing mode, and he lose, completely loses his grounding. I'm currently looking into that. I was not aware that was even a problem until uh, just recently. Nobody had ever uh, brought that to my attention. So I, I've caught it late. Therefore, because I've caught it late, I don't know what caused it. So I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to try to figure out what what's causing it. I don't think it's the offset root bone logic that I added though. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I've, if that is the case, then there might be another serialization bug. And if that's the case, then I might end up having to remake the animation blueprint from scratch. But I'm not completely sold on the ideal that it is a serialization problem this time. Uh, I'm not even sure that it's the offset root bone that's causing that. I'll try to get to the bottom of it and correct it, whatever was caused, whatever's causing it currently. Um, so you might see if I fix, if I'm able to resolve that this weekend, then I'll go ahead and release a hot patch. But yeah, that's basically all I got for you guys. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.